Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create this 3D clamshell package in Illustrator, bring it into Photoshop to make it 3D, and then create a mock-up using Adobe Dimension. First let's grab the rectangle tool and I don't have exact dimensions for this one so I'm just going to start drawing. So I'm looking more at these two items here, the back which will be plastic and also the card which will be the insert. I'm going to make a working copy of this one and create the cutout out of this with the Pathfinder Exclude. So let's copy this shape, open up Photoshop, and create a new artboard. We want to make sure it's using RGB color mode. And we want to paste it as a shape layer. I'm going to increase my canvas size. And we want to make sure that we're in our 3D workspace up here near the top, this drop down. Let's create a 3D extrusion with a, just a slight amount of depth to get the paper or plastic thickness. We can use our secondary view to look at the side of it. And now we're going to duplicate this layer. Command J. Next, let's create this 3D extrusion of where the packaging will live. Create a 3D extrusion. And I'm just estimating depth here. Next, I'm going to add this shape, and I need to make it a vector object. So I'm going to create a copy, go to Image Trace, now we can copy the vector shape.
can create a very thin extrusion. Next, I'm going to select all of my layers and go to 3D, Merge 3D Layers, so we can work on the size and alignment. We also want to go to the Scene and in Properties, check Remove Hidden Back Faces. For each shape, to clean up this file more, we're going to select all of the material layers and next to base color, remove texture. And actually an easier way would be just to select all of the material layers using this icon. Remove texture. We can select all of these layers and Command G to group all of them. And selecting all of the layers we can use our alignment tools while we're on the move, V. I'm going to try to scale and align this so we can get it on this back plastic piece. And I need to rotate and flip this around. We can give this a little bit of a taper and you can look at it in the secondary view or main view. This little icon in the corner will swap views. And if we go to this third icon, you can select front or back or both and start creating a bevel. And if this needs to be shallower, you can use the 3D scale, or you can go back to the properties where and adjust the extrusion depth. Instead of creating two plastic pieces, I'm just going to move this paper one in between those 
the plastic layer. We need to get back to default view, just click on default camera. And now we are ready to go to layers and export the shape. Go to 3D, export 3D layer, wavefront OBJ, you can adjust your dimensions. Open up a new document in Adobe Dimension. And you can delete any of the other objects except for that OBJ we exported. And you can drag and drop the object into Dimension and tap F on the keyboard to bring it into frame. Using one, you can orbit the camera. And we can select multiple layers to apply the plastic material. And I'm going to add a decal graphic. If you see this strange action going on, go ahead and remove the graphic. And you can select all of these layers and go to Object, Generate UVs. And now we can try adding the label again. You can orbit around until you're happy with the view and up here with the star and camera icon, you can save a bookmark. If I click that, I've saved a couple of views here for a front angle and a back angle. And if we go to the Render tab, you can select both of those views to render. I tend to do the PNG, which is a little quicker and just a medium quality as kind of a base to get an idea. These take about eight minutes to render on this 2016 MacBook Pro with eight gig of RAM on my PC, which is a Dell and running 32 gigabytes. I can get these done in just over a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel these and show you those renders. So here is a front at medium quality and the back and you can see the three-dimensional plastic extrusion on the back, which is kind of a nice detail. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. I will also be including these files available for download by donation. Thanks for watching!